July 4th is next weekend, and we wanted to get tips on how to make great barbecue. So we went to the king, Myron Mixon. He has been crowned world champ three times and is host of Destination America's Barbecue Pitmaster. Vicente Arenas traveled two hours south of Atlanta to see how the king does it. You know, I got my first uh, world championship trophy in Memphis. This is one of the reasons Myron Mixon is called the barbecue king of the world. Oh, this is heavy. It's about, what, I mean, 15, 20 pounds? Mixon calls himself the winningest man in barbecue. That wasn't even a word yet until we came up with it. <laughs> He's won more than 200 grand championships nationwide. Still got room for more trophies, though. <laughs> He's won so many trophies, he's turned his living room into a shrine. Waiting for this for a long time. People from all over travel to his backyard in Unadilla, Georgia. Feel that right there. It's here that students learn about how to slice and spice. This is the way the meat's going to cook, fat cap down, and we're going to inject. Make sure you have no bone slivers. What is the secret to making good barbecue? I mean, naturally, you got to have a great recipe, but you got to have a taste for what I say familiar foods, home foods, because the ingredients that go in barbecue is very simple. Simple, maybe, but it takes time and money. These enthusiasts each paid $750 to spend three days to learn Mixon's techniques. Morton Vincent flew 5,000 miles just to take the class. I'm here to hone my skills on, on barbecue, and I thought who better to learn from than the King Meyer Mixon. Vincent wants to serve barbecue at his restaurant in West Africa. That's what I want. I want the only barbecue joint in the country. <laughs> what do you think when you see these people coming from around the world to learn how to cook barbecue? It kind of stands me back when I, I see that. I mean, I've had them come from Japan and, and uh, Dubai, other places, and it's kind of amazing. They want to come see a poor country boy in Unadilla, Georgia, about barbecue. Uh, this is where it all begins? This is all where it begins. We'll come over Mixon doesn't get his meat from a fancy uh, market. I want the reddest piece of meat, the one that's got the most marbling. Let's get him on the gate. <laughs> the hog he's chosen this day comes from a country butcher. It will take as long as 24 hours to prep and smoke the hog. I view this as like being able to go to a basketball camp with Michael Jordan. So we're going to go in here, a little bit of this fat, a little strip right here. Mixon was just nine years old when he started barbecuing with his dad. My dad could tell temperatures on the pit by just putting his hand there on the tin and knowing when to fire it. Didn't have any gauges. He was that good at it. No Bluetooth? No. no. No, and he didn't have meat probes. He could put his hands on the meat, tell when it was ready to come off. And Myron's just as good, if not better. He's now making a living off books and TV shows. When all the people come to your class, what do you want them to walk away with? Take the notes and study your notes. I want to give them the tools to be able to elevate their barbecue skills when they get home, whether they're going to the contest or just doing it in their backyard to be king of the cul-de-sac. I've already had uh, people send me an invite for a party at my own house when I get back. A party where he's sure to talk about the day the king of barbecue shared his secrets. This is not about money, though, it seems. It seems like you're having a lot of fun doing it. Hey, many folks can make a living doing what they love. Mm -hmm. And I love what I do. It shows. I love it. Unbelievable. For CBS This Morning Saturday. Unbelievable. I'm Vicente Arenas, Unadilla, Georgia. Awesome. Awesome. We're going to have to get on Vicente for not sending us some samples. Yeah, no, I was expecting a case of ribs up here. That did, <laughs> it would have been nice. That could have been bribery for to get that piece on the air. <laughs>